Synth Master One. Hey, I'm back, and today I thought I'd try to show you how to use the vocoder in SynthMaster. You can do this in SynthMaster or SynthMaster 1. I'm going to use SynthMaster 1, I don't know, just because it's easier to look at the interface. But you can do this in SynthMaster, the same thing applies. I decided to do this because when I first tried this, I had a lot of trouble with it, and it seems like other people are too, so I thought I'll try to show you how to do it. So, first thing you see here, I have a vocal track, and this is very easy. Um, let me just let you listen to it. Synth Master 1. Okay, so it's just me speaking. Uh, you notice there the beginning has a strong S sound. I should probably DS that, but uh, anyways. You'll see why later. It causes a little bit of problems if you don't. But the more, I shouldn't say compressed, but the steadier your vocal signal is, the better it's going to come out. If your levels are going all over the place, it just makes it more difficult for you and it doesn't sound as good. But anyways, let's get into it. First, what we need to do is put an instance of SynthMaster on here. Actually, we're going to use SynthMaster 1 and instead of using the normal SynthMaster, we're going to use this. It's SynthMaster 1 Effect. So when you buy SynthMaster or SynthMaster 1, you get two plugins. One is just SynthMaster and one is SynthMaster Effect. And what we want to use now is SynthMaster Effect. And this is where the problem started for me before. I would try to put SynthMaster on one track and the vocal on the other track. But actually you put SynthMaster on the same track as you have your vocal and you use the effect version. So let me initialize this and just change it. So this is just a normal saw wave. Okay, so nothing special there. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to have a separate track just for MIDI. So now I have this, and I want to route this to the synthesizer so the MIDI input is going into SynthMaster 1. So you see here I have MIDI, everything from there is going to go straight into SynthMaster. Let me set this up using my keyboard here, and now Anything that comes through this track should play in SynthMaster. Oh, there we go. So that's me playing keyboard. So everything is routed correctly, but you'll notice if I play this now, you don't hear anything. That's because SynthMaster 1 won't let anything through. So if we want to use the vocoder, right click here, open the vocoder, and now turn the vocoder on. If I play it now, you're not going to hear anything, but if I press down a button on my keyboard, you should hear something, but it's not going to sound great. So I'll let you hear that. Okay, so you heard that. It sounds almost like what you want to hear, but not exactly. One problem is it's too quiet, so we need to turn up the gain here in the vocoder and play it again and then listen to it and let's adjust the decay. The decay is I think one of the biggest things when it comes to this. The longer you have it, the more washed out it's going to sound and you won't be able to hear the consonants and the spaces between your words. But if you turn it down too low, it'll kind of distort and it doesn't sound good. So you kind of have to find the right balance. So let's play it and do that. <laughs> Okay, so around there I think was the best. I tried to turn it up all the way so you could hear how it sounds all the way up and all the way down. Uh, next thing we want to mess with is the frequency. So that'll also make a big difference in the sound. You hear less of that like hissing sound on there at the top end. I don't like that, but the frequency can kind of alleviate that to a point. So let's try it with that. Okay, it's a little bit better. Now you notice these little bars here. These are the different frequency bands they're divided into. I'm going to turn these actually all the way up. 
So you can hear that, and I'm gonna adjust some of these. And by adjusting these, we can also get some of that like raspiness out of the top end. So let's do that, and I'll adjust some of these. Ooh, that's way too hot. Let me turn it down a little bit. Okay, so that's better. So you probably noticed when I turned down the top end, it kind of got rid of a little bit of the raspiness, not completely. And you notice like it was really bassy, it's kind of distorting. Turning this down decreases some of the bassiness. So now it's close to what I want, but I think we can still do a little bit better. So let's turn on the filter now and actually just filter out some of the saw wave. Let me turn the volume down on that too. So I'll play it and I'll move the filter down, the cutoff on the filter down, so you can hear how that sounds. Okay, so that's pretty good. It's close to what I want, but we can do a little bit more if we go into our effects and we actually EQ the original track to take out a little bit of the high end on the vocal track. That can sometimes help. So, why do I, I don't need M Auto Equalizer. I'll use a different one so you can see it a little bit better. I'll use M Auto Dynamic EQ. Here we go. I can adjust this easily. Turn on the analyzer. I'll play it and I'll cut it and listen to this. Okay, so that's pretty close to what I want. Um, of course, I can go and do more EQs with this. I can uh, add some delay if I want, just a tiny bit here. I don't know. What? Try an eighth note here, and uh, I don't know. Triple it there, turn the mix down, turn the feedback down, and see how this sounds. Okay, so you get the idea. Of course you can do more with it, but I think that helps you at least get this set up. When I tried this at first, I had no idea how to even get it working at all. So that'll help you get it set up. And if you're trying to get rid of that harsh high end sound, that'll help too. Um, of course, if you record your vocals properly and you don't have a bunch of S's, that's the best. And you don't have a bunch of volume differences. But if not, try compressing your vocals a little bit and taking some of the top end off so you can get them a little bit smoother, if that's what you're going for. If you like that hiss, of course, leave it in. And so that's it for today. If you have any questions about how to do this, leave them below. Give me a thumbs up. And until next time, see you.